Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom watercolor brush in Illustrator. Now Illustrator does come with watercolor brushes. You can access them by going to your brushes, then artistic and watercolor. But I want to show you how to make your own custom one completely from scratch. So let's do it. First we're going to use our pen tool right here and we're going to double click on a pen tool. We'll open the options and you want the fidelity to be about one pixel, smoothness zero, Keep selected, edit selected pass within five pixels and press OK. And we're going to be making a brush just like this. So we're going to make that shape by clicking and holding and you want it to be a bit irregular. Like this, we're going to make it about that length and then bring it up, give it some squiggly bits and give it some little choppiness. Just like this, don't worry. And then close it. We'll bring it down like that and then let go once you're done to close it just press Control or command j and that just closes the path now we're going to give this a red color something like that and give it a fill now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get these other colors in here and to do that we're just going to create a box with the red like that we're going to select it hold alt and shift and bring it to about to here and on here we're going to change the opacity to zero like that and now we're just going to blend between this select our option our colors we'll go to object blend blend options and we want to be specific to steps we're going to go eight steps so it's going to make eight boxes between these two and press ok and then we'll go to object blend make and now we have our opacities uh, our color palette effectively we're going to select our blend go object blend and expand then we're going to click on it right click and ungroup great now we can quickly apply our colors to our object then we're going to use our knife tool by clicking right here click and hold and go to knife and we're going to chop off little pieces just like we see in here so we'll click and hold and you want it to be a bit irregular. They can go up and down, don't worry too much. And like that. And then we'll do another one like that. They don't have to follow the pattern that we see right here. This one does a bit. Move up. And you're gonna make about four different lines worth. Like this. And we're gonna have some little cuts right there just are some added okay now with this bottom shape we're going to press i and we're going to give it the 50 percent opacity so I think that's a 50 yeah no i should have done nine steps but that's okay this works all right we're here we're going to give it the 40 percent opacity right, right there this one 30 percent this one 20% and this one up here we can select both press I and give it the 10% and that makes it quite light now additionally to that we're gonna draw some small little lines right here and we want them to be long and elongated press ctrl J and give it that color and then draw a bit more and this these little bits right here actually look quite nice once you have drawn your um, your stroke on a long line you see it looks actually pretty cool that, J and that control J to close it and just draw a bit right here control J remember to press control J to close your paths control J now I'm just going to press Ctrl Y so I can see where I drew my paths and select them all. Shift. Select all my paths like that. Now I'm going to press Ctrl Y and I'm going to give them this color for now. But now I'm going to select these ones up here and give it the very light color. This will be a bit darker like that. This will go to here. And this, I'll just press I and select that. Great. So now we have a brush. All you do now is you select your brush and all of the contents. You open your brushes panel and you click and hold and drag it into here. You see the plus button? 
and we're going to choose an arc brush and press OK. Then we want the width to be 100% and it should be fixed. We're going to stretch to fit the stroke length and the colorization method will be tints like that. The direction will be going in this direction and that's all we need for now. We press OK. Cool. Now to see what it actually looks like, let's make a shape. We'll go to here, to here, to here, to here, something like that. All we do is we select our shape and we apply a gradient to it. And there you go. Now it's a bit thick right now, so we can make it a bit thinner. So we make that or 0.25. But we see we get a pretty realistic rendition of a watercolor. Uh, watercolor brush and this is what happens you see these little slight uh, pieces right here they become elongated and they add to the complexity and reality of a brush and that's all it really takes to make your own custom brush so I hope you enjoy this tutorial or if you get uh, inspired to make your own brushes in your own uh, different styles and of course as always have a great day like the video subscribe check out our other videos and yeah as always, of course, have a great day once again.